I actually started, uh, I opened my mind to writing for others probably like uh, 2010, 2012, in between there somewhere, you know, I had an opportunity to approach me and it was like they wanted to take one of the songs that I had, I loved that song. And they wanted somebody else to get on it, and they wanted them to sing. And I was like, man, uh-uh, you can't take that song. You can't take that, now. You know, you can't take that. You can't have that. And, you know what I mean? Like, I had no point, no, don't talk to me about that. And I actually opened my mind to it, and since that day, I was doing it. And it was with Candice Breon. You know, shout out to Candice Breon. I hear really getting it. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. She interviewed with us before. Yeah, Candice Brown is, man, she's a beast, man. Yeah. Trust me, I, and I, I remember, she always had it, you know what I mean? I just remember working with her, and, you know, she was passionate. She had her own stuff, she had her own style. It was just getting her to just push it out, you know what I mean? Worked with her, wrote songs for her, specifically for her to let it come out, you know what I mean? And, you know, it wasn't all just me, you know, I had my partner Steve Ray, shout out to Steve Ray, you know, Production side of everything helped her, you know what I mean. Man, she's 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 a blast, man. And I, and I work with different other artists too, but I don't have to write as much. I haven't dealt with them as much like I know I've did. I've done with Candice, you know what I mean? Because that's the way I like to do it. The way it was with Candice, we, right? We we really was working, you know what I mean. Whenever she had time, she came through. We worked. She was she was great. She didn't have no attitude toward it. She didn't feel like she wasn't, you know what I mean, fitting in. Like she gave it a best shot, and that's that's just what it was. Okay, it sound like y'all had a good, you know, a good uh, working relationship. Oh yeah, the chemistry is crazy, man. Yeah, the chemistry is crazy. That's my sis, man. She she gonna she gonna be something too. Okay, I mean, so have y'all ever uh, done the song together? Oh yeah, man. Oh man, we got one. Ain't nobody ever heard. Like I'm saying, like it was, it was crazy the situation. Huh? Yeah, and I, I actually have that CD. Actually, it's at the house though. But um, man, we got a couple of songs together actually. But that one that I do have, that's that's the one I, I love because she's pretty much killing it. Okay. Her voices. She did justice on that song. Okay, and besides writing music and, and recording, what, what else do you have going on? Oh uh, man, uh, shh. well right now, to be honest with you, uh, like I said, I have an album I'm actually working on right now, you know, I'm um, gonna get some worldwide distribution with that, you know, um, R&B, Real and Black, um, that's what I'm working on right now, you know, um, I have a, uh, situation right now where I'm doing everything by myself. Uh, so I'm building a team right now, you know, uh, where we can just make everything happen. Cause everybody got the same kind of goals as I do as I come to see, cause I've been networking recently you know, for a while now, you know, kind of sitting back and being behind the scenes, but still working, still pushing and doing things, but I'm in this. I'm in the clubs. I'm in the scene. I'm, I'm out on the scene. I'm networking with people. I'm introducing myself, talking to people. You know, performing and you know, having meetings. And, you know, meeting up with people and stuff like that. Um, but with that, it's all to bring it all together. Which is, I'm also doing videos and photography. You know, but um, it's more so toward a common goal. You know, I, I want to get it to be a common goal between other people that do that photography and, and videos and stuff like that because we can come together and do the movies that I wrote, you know. I got movies stacked up and I'm about to start writing some more. I'm in my zone where I'm about to start writing some more. So okay. I kind of want that thing to kind of come together, you know. I also have the adventures of uh, Buck 50 and J. Marquis, you know, is in the works, you know. And like I say, all this ties in together, you know. Um, I have a video, a uh, photo, photo thing going on right now where, uh, with models, all the beautiful women, uh, to help narrow the, the, the work or whatnot, instead of having all these casting calls and stuff like that, be giving out, you know, swapping it out, you know, help y'all get y'all photo, uh, y'all photo port portfolios together, you know, shoot some photos for you, you know what I mean, um, and the only thing I ask in return is that we can put your name, get all your contact information. 
and we can get you in a video or a future video or a future movie scene or you know anything like that you know but and that also still gives you publicity and stuff like that so there's no scams ain't nobody playing around with you you know just keep just trying to keep coming up with no, new ideas to keep everybody under the umbrella because right now it's about black top man where all great things come together yeah so kind of uh, give us um, a summary of um, a short short term goal that you have, music wise or career wise. Uh, short term goal, man, is uh, I want to get the uh, want to do the How I'm Life video, man, the movie. You know, I want to get that. That's a short term goal for me. Okay. You know, because everything else can get knocked down within an uh, email or just uh, yeah. you know, step in the studio and just record that thing or you know. Is that's you know the short term goal for me is getting like started or at least start working with the High on Life movement. If you haven't checked out High on Life, it's on YouTube. High on Life, J Marquis, um, H I G H O N L I F E, J Marquis, J M A R Q U I S. That's J M A R Q U I S. If you don't know how to pronounce J Marquis, let me tell you right now how you do it. It's not J Marquis, it's not J Mark, it's, it's not J Mar, it's not that. It's J Marquis, that's J M A R K E Y, like key, key to the car, J Marquis. J Marquis. <laughs> that's what's up. Long term goal, man. I want to be traveling and just making music, man. And you know, uh, coming back home and, and walking in a in a nice, nice beautiful house. You know, notice I didn't say big. Or, you know, <laughs> right? There's a, a difference. A nice, a beautiful house. You know what I mean? With uh, a beautiful wife. You know what I mean? I right now I don't have any kids, so I'm not even gonna put no kids in the cage right now. But long term, that's just I wouldn't be happy. You know what I mean? And then, you know. Money in the account, we happy, we doing what we love to do. And family, we sit at a big old table. I need a big table, big long table. For everybody that was with me from the ground up, you know, we all sit down at the table as a family and know that where we came from and how we started and you know, we just comfortable. That's a long term goal for me. Right. You know what I mean? That's 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 what it is for me. You know, leave there, you know, ladies in one room, fellas together. We got to shoot another, start shooting another movie, you know what I mean? A couple of days, a couple of weeks, you know what I mean? But we, yeah. that's that's what it is, man. That's, that's real. Yeah. So um, kind of kind of tell us, how do you feel about the, the R&B scene in, in South Carolina? How do you feel about that? Uh, You know, to be honest with you, I haven't even keep my ears to the R&B side things because I don't really know if anybody takes it as serious as I do. You know, I'm not going to say nobody is, but like I said, I haven't met, you know what I mean? It's not, it's a lot of rappers, you know what I mean? When I do run across somebody that's seen, they rap and they be like, yeah, you know, I can sing too, you know what I mean? So it's singing wise, I know, you know, Stefan, you know, I know about Stefan, you know, but I mean, he, he working in Atlanta right now, you know what I mean? Uh, so. Besides him, you know, and being that he's not actually here right now, I don't really, I don't really know, man. To be honest with you, I don't know why it ain't too many people talk. Oh, uh, uh, Kristoff. Kristoff. I can't even remember, uh, I know he was on that one. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay. But yeah, I know, but as far as right now, I don't think it's a scene for the RB. Okay. And that's technically the moral of what I'm saying. Like, I don't think it's a scenery. I've been here, I've been doing this thing since I was 19, I'm 28 now. There's a lot of people know me, a lot of people remember me, a lot of people know how I've been grinding. And they've been seeing me, they talk to me, they tell me they mess with me, they want to work with me, and they haven't. And I don't know why. It's not on me. It's not because I ain't called nobody or I ain't called nobody back. It ain't because I ain't been on my shit. 
you know what I mean? And I have been on my grind. So, you know, I just keep pushing, man, because at the end of the day, I will be the R&B yeah. singer. Yeah, you, you gotta know keep what I mean? pushing. So, and the, the best thing about it now is I'm actually networking now. You know, I'm actually out there with people. And it's right. like for, for a strong two years now, I can say I've really been out here meeting new people yeah. like yourself and, you know what I mean? Working with other people that's just as dedicated and just as passionate and want it and I can help them help me. I'm not just coming empty handed. And it's the same, it's always been like that, you know, but it's, it's simple actually, you know. When I, when another thing too, when I started, I didn't come out here with no baby jeans. You know, I had a band with me, you know, I, I had a band, still have access to the band, you know. Uh, Young man, I might do with soup, something soup, you know what I mean, with some soulful music, man. You know, that is from here. We, I'm from here. I'm not, I'm born and raised, you know what I mean, from around here. You know, my people good, my people, my family is, is big and full of good people. Like, real, real good people. And I really don't know why it hasn't, you know, taken that turn with everybody on one accord and like, look, let's, let's go ahead and just go with Jay. Cause Jay, Jay good dude, yo. I'm loyal, I'm passionate about this thing and I'm business minded, you know what I mean? So, the only thing I feel like needs to get done with really. him. Like for instance, my high on life is uh, still working on that, still pushing that. And get a venue, man, just one venue where you do the live music. And there's actually other spots already doing that, too. You know what I mean? You got spots already already picking up on the live music and got a live music going on and whatnot. But if the city can come, not just the city, but people that can make the moves happen, instead of putting all that money into bringing these artists into here, let's, let's go with the artists that we got. Right. You know what I mean? To get one venue where it's live music and then you just have... I can put a, I'll start it off with a whole set. I'll do the whole How I'm Life album. The whole I'll put on the show. I'm talking about a bit I'll put on the show. You know what I mean? One venue, you just start it off and then you know, keep it rolling. Another artist coming in. And that, and that would also help the rappers too, you know what I mean? And the yeah. other artists, because now they, you know, I, 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 can, I ain't going to like say, I don't like to be telling people what they ain't did and not do no doubt no one, but I can say it's, it's a very few of them. A uh, majority of them have never rapped on a live with live behind them. Right. You know what I mean? They they haven't, you know, experienced that. You know, and then those that have, they probably did it one time or two times. And you know what I mean? And I do this every time. You know, I prefer the live band. You know, I prefer the band. I prefer, I prefer that type of performance. You know, with or without them, I'm gonna put on the show. You know, but that's what's up. All right, so the people that want to, uh, you know, get 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 in contact with you, how can they do that? Uh, hey man, I'm on Facebook, J Marquis, J Marquis Blackman. Um, uh, go like my J Marquis page. It's the I am J Marquis, I A M J M A R Q U I S. Um, you got J Marquis Live um, at Gmail. It's my email. Uh, J Marquis Live on Twitter, J Marquis Live on Instagram, J Marquis Live everything, J Marquis Live everything, man. Just J Marquis Live, J M A R Q U I S L I V E. It's going down, man. It's going down. So I, I know you say he's going to do a little something for us. Yeah. Just give, give us a snippet, you know, give everybody a snippet. Uh, yeah, with, uh, about J Marquis. Like, Show them a little something, you know what I'm saying? A little something. Baby, lay back, cause we chillin'. In the Maybach blowing smoke to the ceiling. Must be so good, how I do ya. Make you scream out loud when I screw ya. You see haters, know you like that. I'm getting this paper, but I'm coming right back. Right back with my girl at somewhere up in the five star jacuzzi. Dinner and a movie, I do it just so everybody know. I'm with you, I'm with you. I do it just so everybody know. 
I'm with you. I'm with you. Hey. <laughs> hey, man, we appreciate you coming through. Jim Marquis checking out, man. Tough guy, watch out. Catch me in your side. Riding down 7th.